We are at the Gateway International Raceway for the fourth race of Season 2 of the SCRL Lucas Oil Arca Racing Series. The 74 of Riley Spurley 2 will be leading us to the green flag. Star beside him is the 77 of Jay Barker. We have only ran one time here in the entire history of the Arca Series. Well, it's only two seasons old. And we've only ran once here at Gateway. And Jesse Turner. And season one led every single lap. Turner will have to come from 20th spot if he wants to win back to back gateway races. Our points leader, Eli Bright, will be starting in the 26th spot as we run down the rest of the starting grid. All 42 entries, of course. Not much to say, really. Fourth race of the season after a... We had a pretty wild race at Charlotte. A last lap pass. Well, not really last lap pass, but... It was still a crazy race with a big one. And our first caution of the uh, season. Well, not much, really, on the pre-race show. Gateway. I know the trucks run here. I don't think the has the Bush series ever run. Yeah, the Bush series ran here. They should bring back the Xfinity series here. But yeah, here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. Alrighty, Gateway. We're going to have 40 laps around this track. One mile. Raleigh's probably two. Our leader. He's going to lead us to the green. Raleigh's probably two has one win in the Arca series. He won at Atlanta in season one. So it's been over one season since he has won a race in this series. Trying to turn the season around. Finished dead last at Daytona. Finished second to last at Atlanta. I don't know where he finished at Charlotte. It was probably, probably pretty bad. Scrolling through the field. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pace car is in. Pull them belts tight because we are racing 40 laps here at Gateway. AI strength all the way up to 110%. And there's green. This might be a wild and crazy race. We shall see. Heading off into turn one under green conditions for the first time. Uh, yep. Car's going wide already. There comes a 68 car. Nick Kennedy. Oh, we got a wreck already. 7, 17. 9, 52, 19. Pace guard's already out. Leader goes way wide. Here comes the 68. And leading the first lap will be Nick Kennedy in the 68 Ford. Make sure there ain't no other incidents. And there is not. All right. Well, no surprise there. Caution already. 68 car, Nick Kennedy is our race leader. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of the caution. 17, Greg Lee racing with the 32 and 7. 7 hits the wall, comes back across the track, hits the 32. Who hits the 17 of Greg Lee? And Greg Lee goes for a spin. 19 got some damage. Nine and fifty-two stall up, and they avoid, which is a good thing. I'm pretty sure that's all there was, right? Yeah, that's all there was. We just had a little incident on the back stretch, and everybody was able to drive away, thankfully. 
so yeah that's pretty much it for the first caution just a little spin on the back stretch and we will take it back to the restart and we are back no one is out of the race we still have all 42 drivers which is a good thing so far but I doubt we will end this race with all 42 with the way they're already acting the 68 car, Nick Kennedy, is our race leader. Second is Richard Torres. Third, Jay Barker. Fourth, Rice Pro 2. Fifth, Derek Edison. Sixth, Marcus Sanchi. Seventh, Jonathan Reigns. Eighth, Steve Barker. Ninth, that guy. And tenth, Evan Rudd. Only four laps complete. We already got a caution. Be a, I bet it'll be a caution field day. Pace car is in. And we're back to racing here at Gateway. No pass before you get to line. Now you can. Nick Kenley leads him off into turn number one. Goes wide like every driver does. Here comes Richard Torres to reclaim the race lead. Oh, oh huge contact by 72. Six, nine. Zero. Zero's involved, 44's involved, 55, 88, 23, 9. We arrest, oh, we got another wreck, 72, 99, oh, 32, again, involved. Oh, we got another wreck. No, oh. alright, we're good. Oh, boy. Rex, Rex, Rex. Well, the 74 Raleigh Sperling Tube is our race leader. We'll take a look at the second caution of the day. So what caused the caution? Well, just like everything else. Driver goes wide in turn two, hits the wall, comes back across the track, and hits the 72 car. 72 hits the 94. 94 keeps on going. 72 does not. And, yep, it's on from there. 75 gets a piece right there. Is destroyed, basically, and then... Driver just slam on the brakes, trying to avoid a zero. Nowhere to go. Not really a good camera angle. 35, 30, zero, 55, 44. Two got a little tiny piece. The 20. The 23 got damage right there. And then the 9. Then the 80. 8, 8. Got involved. It's basically survival of the fittest. And these drivers did not survive. Now, we had another incident uh, coming to the line with the 32 of Keith Stevens. See what happened to him. Whoops. That's, oh, God. Oh, looks like we had more contact up here. Looks like the 99. Of Luke Rainey trying to get back on the track. Hits the 97 Connor Thunder. And Luke Rainey spins out. Oh, God. The 72. Nowhere to go. Hard impact. Jonathan Reigns. Wow. It destroyed his vehicle. Okay, so that's what happened. And the 32. Nowhere to go. Hits the 99. And his day is done as well. Dang. Well, it wasn't... Uh, can you really say that was the big one? Because we had a lot of huge impacts and all that. So, yeah. So, we're going to have to clean up the accident on the back stretch, turn three, and in turn four. And when we do, we will take you back to the restart. And we are back. We got seven drivers out of the race. Brian Fox will finish last in this race. We got one driver, one lap down. So we got 35 cars left in this race. We're not even at lap 10 yet. We already have seven drivers out. That's... That's bad. That's very bad. We only had 15 cars finish at Charlotte. And that was a 40 lap race as well. So... Actually, I think that was a 34 lap race. So we got six more laps on this race, and we already got ten drivers, mostly seven drivers out. Jeez. 
So we got Riley Sperling, two is our race leader. Second is Richard Torres. Third, Jay Barker. Fourth, Marco Sanchi. And fifth, Steve Larker. Pace cars in. And we're back to racing here at Gateway. Evan Roach trying to get a lap back, but it's not really not going to happen because he has got a lot of damage to 75 vehicle. Riley Sperling, two leads him off into turn number one. Here comes Richard Torres. Not enough. If we could just have one green flag lap. Oh, no, we don't. 77 spins out. A little caution. Yay. Oh, 19 got involved. Oh, God. 88 again. Hey. Oh, look out. Oh, God. 15. 5. Our points leader, 97. <laughs> it's the big one. Nope. No, it's not. 97 is destroyed. Hey, what is going on? Well, you guys, one of the excitement, so here you go. 13, Richard Torres is our new race leader. We'll take a look at the third caution of the day. So what caused it this time? The 77 of Jay Barker racing with the 22 of Marcus Sanchi. And, yeah, hits the wall. Sanchi spins him out. There he goes. Caution is out. You see the uh, caution lights over here, trigger. So Jay Barker spins out, does a 360, keeps on going, comes back across the track. Bad decision because, well, you're about to find out why. Pulls out in front of the 19 of Jonathan King. And misjudges, and bam. 77 goes for a spin again. Then Kekka White Lion gets damaged. No, excuse me. Silver Paul gets damaged. Then the 43 slams on the brakes. Misses. Now, we are not done yet, obviously, because we had more extracurricular activities going on up front as our leader gets into the wall. Okay, who was the first? Oh, yeah, the 15. Simon Fox gets contact and then comes back across the track in front of our points leader. At the same time, the 62 spins out, and then Connor Thunder gets his damage right there, and the 75 gets more damage, and the 25 gets damage. Everybody's scrambling, trying to avoid. Then there's more wrecks back here. Seven got involved. Then, oh, right there. 88 got more damage. I believe the 44 got some more damage as well, right? There, yes, he does. Ben Croach. Oh, God. Eli Bright flipped over almost. And in the 77, you know, it decides I'm going to spin my car out again. Jay Barker. Cautions, breed, cautions, as usual, here at Gateway. We'll clean this mess up, and we'll take you back to the restart once again. And we are back. We have 24 cars left in this race. One is lap, a lap down. That's Evan Rudd. Richard Torres is our race leader. Second is Riley Sparley. Two. Third, Jesse Turner. Fourth, Marcus Sanchi. Fifth, Jason Larker. Sixth, Tony Newman. Seventh, Steve Larker. Eighth, Josh Barker. Ninth, Nick Kennedy. And tenth, Aiden Shepard. So Jesse Turner has found his way into the top three. Turner has some success here at Gateway. He won the first race here in season one. We're not even halfway yet. We only got 24 cars left. Oh, you guys want to wreck fest, so here we go. Wreck fest galore. Pace car is in. Richard Torres. And the 13 Toyota. Leads him to the green. There it is. Can we at least do one green flag lap, please? Just one. That's all I'm asking. Just one. Probably probably two with a run, but here comes the 66. Jesse Turner. Oh, God. Three wide. Not good. Good. Come on, let's just do one good old green flag lap. Here comes the 22 car. Marcus Sanchi, he won second place. Turner goes way wide. Goodbye. Yep. We are so damn close. We are so close. So close. We did it. Good job, everybody. We did a green flag lap at Gateway. Now watch the rest of the laps be Rex. Turner back to uh, fourth spot now. After his little run with the wall. Oh my god! 75. 
11, 69, 2, 4, 88. Another caution. Richard Torres leads him off of turn number four and will lead yet another lap. And we are under caution yet again. Any more extracurricular activities? Nope. All right. Richard Torres, the 13 car, is still our race leader. We'll take a look at the whatever caution this is. Third, fourth, fifth, I have no idea. So the first car I saw in trouble was the 75 of Evan Rudd. So let's see what happens to him. As they're going three wide in turn one. Oh no, four wide. What are they thinking? That is not going to work. And to nobody's surprise, it doesn't. 69, I mean, excuse me, 68 and two make contact with the 11 and then goodbye. Bam, hard into the wall, Evan Rudd. And then the four gets involved as well. 77. Not a good day for Jeff Bright, or the Bright family. The 5 got wrecked earlier. And here comes the 52 and 88. Slam on the brakes. Cautions, breed, cautions yet again here at Gateway. 75, Evan Rudd trying to get his lap back. Did not work. And now his car is destroyed once again. Well, we'll clean this mess up and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We have 23 cars left in this race. Yeah, what a wreck fest of it. We are just past halfway, so almost half the field is gone. Typical Arkin. Richard Torres is our race leader. Second is Marcus Sanchi. Third, Riley Spelly. Two, fourth, Jesse Turner. Fifth, Josh Barker. Sixth, Jason Larker, 7th, Steve Larker, 8th, Aiden Shepard, 9th, Sebastian Torres, and 10th, Greg Lee. You see, some cars are riding new uh, rides for this race, like uh, the 22 Marcus Sanchi lost his sponsor for this race. It's not a major race, so his sponsor will be back at Talladega. You know, we got to have some mixes in the race schemes. Pace cars in. Richard Torres leads him back to the green. Here comes the 22. Marcus Sanchi with a run. Trying to get that unsponsored team a win. Torres goes wide. Here comes Sanchi with a run. Oh, God. Not good. No oh, leaders. Uh, yep, 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 yep. 22 is involved. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. The three with a lot of damage. The two. 69. We're going to have nobody left. Richard Torres will once again lead him to the caution flag. And yet another caution. Now well, Marcus Sanchi went for it all there. Just didn't turn out very well for him. Oh, we got the 94 just spun out. Steve Larker. Well, we'll take a look and see what brought out the caution. Richard Torres is still our race leader. Richard Torres, I mean, Marcus Sanchi pulled everything he could to try and get around Richard Torres. But he also had to deal with the 74 car, Riley's Burley Tube. All these drivers going for their first win of the season. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame them. And there's contact between the 22 and 13, and then there's contact between the 22 and 74. Which in turn helps the 13, but spins out the 22. And the 74 just drives away. Here comes a 90. Josh Barker gets no damage, amazingly. But here comes the 92. Uh, Aiden Shepard gets damage. Back across the track. And then the 69 gets damage. Then the 3 got some. And then the 2 hits the 22 and flips Marcus Sanchi almost over. So, yet another caution. This might take out one, well, maybe three, depending on how bad the damage is. But we'll clean this mess up, and we'll take you once again back to the restart. And we are back. We only have 20 cars left in this race. And we're only six laps past halfway. Uh, not a good thing. 
Richard Torres is our race leader. Second is Jason Larker. Third, Sebastian Torres. Fourth, Alex Bradley. Two. Fifth, Steve Larker. Sixth, Josh Barker. Seventh, Matthew Johnson. Eighth, Kyle Metz. Ninth, Cole Dixie. And tenth, Jesse Turner. What a wreck fest of a race gateway is. And we still got a long way to go. 14 laps to go. That's long in, in our 2003 laps. Pace car is back in. And there's the green. We're back to racing here at Gateway. Richard Torres leads him off into turn number one. Josh Barker trying to make a move back there. 16 goes a little bit wide, so is the 42. Here comes the 74. Oh, no. okay, we're good. Oh, we got another wreck. No, I'm not surprised. Looks like it's the 22 car. No, excuse me, 66 car, but we are not under caution. All right. I don't understand that logic, but all right. Can we make a lap under green conditions? Yes, we did. Good job, everybody. We finally made a lap. It took us 27 laps, but we finally did a lap under green. Josh Barker moving up past Riley Spurley Tube. As the 16 car is trying to close up. As we what else is happening back here. No? All right. They seem to calm down a little bit. Battle for the lead. 16. 13. Oh, our leaders are in the wreck. Oh, 74. Oh, God. 80, 25. 77, 52, 88, 20, 28 just hit the water barrels. Oh, 66, Jesse Turner. That was not good at all. Our two leaders wrecked. Oh my god, have you ever? Well, probably a lot. 90, Josh Barker is our race leader. We'll take a look at the big ass wreck. We all know what the caution is. Jason Larker going for the race lead. The rookie makes a mistake. He just goes wide right in to Richard Torres. The two drivers make contact and spin out. Riley Spurley Tube, unfortunately, was on the high lane and was not able to miss and runs right into the 16 car. So the 16 gets one big hit, and here comes the second one. Bam! Hard impact into the driver's door. And then he flips over. So we got a flip at gateway. Here comes the 25 car. Into the back of the 13. Then the 52. The 77. The 11. The 88. The 22. Wow. And then the 28 hits the water barrels. Bam. <laughs> Why does the AI do that? But. On a more serious note. Uh, that was a huge hit by Jason Locker. Damn it, Locker. Laker. Here he is, the 80 Cal Mets. Bam, right square in the driver's door. Uh, I don't like that. That's, that's a hit that'll hurt you big time. So... The 16 will have to go to the infield care center, and hopefully that driver's all right. So is everybody else, hopefully. But this will turn things around and hopefully give you a smile. The 28, Matthew Johnson, trying to avoid. He misjudges. Colin Jiberg has done this before. And hits the water barrels and destroys his perfectly good yellow banana car. <laughs> yeah, you got to joke sometimes. So Then here comes the 66. As a 25 is stick up on the track. Jesse Turner decides, you know what? Let's do it. Bam. And destroys his vehicle. Well, this is going to take a while to clean up. This big, uh, this big wreck in turn four. We'll clean it up and we'll take you back to the restart once we do. And we are back. We're going to get the green with eight laps to go. Check this out. We only have 11 drivers left. That wreck knocked out nine drivers. Josh Barker is our race leader. Second is Sebastian Torres. Third, Steve Larker. Fourth, Konexi. Fifth, Greg Lee. Sixth, Nick Kennedy. Seventh, Jeff Bright. Eighth, Adam Shepard. Ninth, Marcus Sanchi. And tenth, Jay Jefferson. Eleventh is Jesse Turner. And yeah, that is it. That's all of our field.
He only had no one left if we keep wrecking like this. So eight laps to go. Remember, we do have an option of a green white checkered should we need it. We're only going to have one attempt, though. So, yeah, pace car is in. Josh Barker leads him slowly to the line. And there it is. We're back to racing. And, whoa, he got a huge jump. Well, he does control it, so he can do that. And to turn one, and to turn two. Here comes the 94. Oh, God, here we go again. Yep. No, Sebastian Torres saves it. Wow, that's the second race in a row he saved his vehicle. Or is that Atlanta? And to turn four, three and four. Sebastian Torres goes a little bit wide. Here comes the 94 and 17. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, contact, contact, more contact, more contact, more contact. More contact. Someone's got to give. And it's Sebastian Torres who gives up. Good thinking by that veteran driver. And we got a car on pit road. That's the 52 car. Jay Jefferson. I guess trying to repair damage. He's gotten. And Josh Barker is just pulling away ever so slowly unless he messes up. Goes wide. That's going to allow the 17. Well, maybe not. Because they're in the wall. Oh, God. No. Okay. I would like to see him have a green flag finish. Josh Barker has a two-second lead over the rest of his competitors. Oh, God. D nope, they're going to wreck. There is no way. Yep, there it is. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Wow. Okay, they saved it. Sweet. The four car is now amazingly in second despite the huge damage he has to his door. And there's Sebastian Torres in third with a huge run. Here comes a 94. And 68. Five laps to go. Please, no caution. Please, no caution. I probably just jinxed it. 94, trying to go for a run. For third. 68, hits the wall. Nope, saved it. All right. So this is Josh Barker's race to lose. And if he keeps doing that, he is going to lose this race. Because here comes the four. Nope. Oh, God, no. Please, no. Okay. I'm not cheering the driver. I'm just hoping that they don't bring out a caution. Sebastian Torres goes for second now. And that 42. Uh, Dodge. Here comes the 94. For third. Three to go this time for Josh Barker. Goes a little bit wide again. But he stays off the wall. Good job by that driver. Of course, Josh will always be uh, in history by winning the first ever ARCA event in Season 1. So, trying to add more history to his stats. Josh has one win. That was his only win at Daytona. It's been over... A, well, I guess you could say a year and league stuff since he's won in the Arca Series. And unless something happens in the next two laps, he will return to victory lane. We got Card in the Wall, that's a 94. That's going to allow the 68 and Nick Kennedy to move up. Three wide for fourth. If we have a caution between now and the white flag, this race will go to green white checkered. Oh, and that might be it. Yep, caution is out. That is not what Josh Barker needed. We will go green, white, checkered. Oh, man. Well, what happens now is you just have to finish this race under caution, and you will race in the green, white, checkered. And I don't think the four will make it. So, yeah. Well, let's take a look and see what brought out the last caution of the day. So I brought out the caution, the 4, Jeff Bright, racing with the 94, Steve Larker, and the 30, Cole Nixie. Driver's just going 3 wide into turn 1 and 2. You can't do that because the 4 goes up, the 94 goes down. They meet fenders, 
And the four goes hard into the outside wall. 17, Greg Lee is able to escape. 94 gets more damage. And then here comes the 92, Aiden Shepard. And get he gets damage as well. Does Marcus Sanchi get damage? That is the question. Uh, no, he does not. All right. Well, unfortunately, that ended regulation, but we do have an option of a green-white checkered. So we'll take you to your results, and then we'll take you to the green-white checkered. So here are your race results. If you have never been with this league before and don't know what a green-white checkered is, that's, you know, green-white checkered. You have one lap to have to decide who wins. So Josh Parker, Sebastian Torres, Nick Kennedy, <coughs> Cole Nixie, Greg Lee, Marcus Sanchi, and Jesse Turner will all be racing in the green-white checkered, which will be a one-lap shootout. So that means Aiden Shepard, Steve Larker, and Jay Jefferson are all will all finish eighth on down. So eighth on back is where you will finish. Man, oh man, what a wreck fest of a race. No surprise there, to be honest, though. Well, without any further ado, we will take you to the green-white checkered right now. It is time to settle. Who will win here at Gateway? We only have eight drivers battling for this win. Actually, seven, excuse me. So, drivers eight on back. Well, they're uh, they're just going to finish there. So, these seven drivers are going to be battling for the win since they were the only drivers left on the lead lap. We have one attempt at a green-white checker. Now, there's a caution anywhere between... Now, and the white flag, this race is official, going by ARCA rules. I believe this is the very first time in the SCRL Lucas Oil ARCA Racing Series history that we have ever had to use a green-white checkered. Of course, we're trying to give you guys, the fans, a green flag finish, if at all possible. So, yeah. Josh Barker is the race leader at the end of regulation, so, you know, the race will be added on two laps, 42 laps. So, Pace car is in. One attempt. If there's a caution, the race is over. And there's the green flag, and there goes Josh Parker. Goodbye. Nick Kennedy, Greg Lee, Jesse Turner on low lane, trying to gain as many spots as they can. Sebastian Torres goes wide. Here comes Nick Kennedy. If a run on the inside. Does anybody have anything for Josh Parker? As we head towards turn three and four. Nick Kennedy with a run. Here we go. Into turn number four. Down the front stretch. White flag. One lap to go here at Gateway. This race is official. Question is, who's going to win? Kennedy with a run. Trying to close in ever so. Oh, look at the run he got. He makes it stick, though. Trying to make a run on the back stretch. Turner trying to go for fourth. Is Barker going to block? Yes, he does. Kennedy trying to close in. He's got one more chance. He's going to make a race out of it. Nope, not enough. Off the final turn, Josh Barker wins. A wild one. Here at Gateway. What a race that was, including the green-white checkered. So here are your race results. Josh Barker wins in, reg in uh, overtime, I guess you could say. Nick Kennedy tried to make a race of it, but he came oh so close, but just could not get past him. Third, Greg Lee. Jesse Turner, who won this race one season ago, finished fourth. Sebastian Torres, fifth. Sixth, Marcus Sanchi. And seventh, Cole Nixie. Of course, as I said before, eighth through 42nd was uh, already placed in the other rundown. So, yeah. Well, we finally had a green flag finish at Gateway, and we will take you to victory lane for the very first time here in Season 2 with Josh Barker.
Here are the points. Standings after the fourth race of the season at Gateway. A wild and wacky race it was. <laughs> Jeff Bright is our brand new points leader. He has a five-point lead over Josh Barker, who won at Gateway. Matthew Johnson is in third, 35 points back. Fourth, Greg Lee, 45 points back as well. And fifth, Sebastian Torres, 45 as well. So we got a three-way tie for 45. Sixth is Jesse Turner, seventh Eli Bright, eighth Connor Thunder, ninth Kevin McHugh, and tenth Derek Edison. Eleventh Carter Friesen, twelfth Marcus Sanchi, thirteenth Nick Kennedy, fourteenth Adam Shepard, fifteenth Tam Randolph, sixteenth Shuttle, seventeenth Zachary Fitzwater, eighteenth Cole Nixie, nineteenth Roland Malu Donald, I guess, twentieth uh, Kekas Overpaul, twenty first Alexander Rowe, twenty second Joe Jefferson, twenty third Jonathan King, twenty fourth Kyle Metz. 25th, Al Legacy, 26th, Jason Larker, 27th, Tony Newman, 28th, Steve Larker, 29th, Evan Rudd, and 30th, Simon Fox. 31st, Ben Croach, 32nd, Richard Torres, 33rd, Riley Spellytube, 34th, Keith Stevens, 35th, Jonathan Raines, 36th, Brian Fox, 37th, Jay Barker, 38th, Max Anderson, 39th, Jay Jefferson, and 40th, Luke Rainey. 41st in points, Jack Legacy, and 42nd, Cam Nixie. So that is your point standings after the fourth race of the season at Gateway. We will next see you at the fifth race of the season at Texas World. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.